Would hay and straw be better than wood chip as your base? It's probably the best case scenario. Hay use straw or hay if you if mm -hmm. it's available. Is that but because of the moisture? Avail available. Why do we want to have it on the first layer? For the aeration. 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 So we're doing a static pile. We need aeration yes, as part of the process. We, we're not going to be turning this pile. Why are we going to turn this pile in this type of community? Because of the smell. Because of the smell. Okay. Okay. The anaerobic uh, okay. stuff. Hey, I like your vocabulary. <laughs> get, on, get on down. We're going to do this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, bring it home. Man. Bring it home. <laughs> So, what did we, we got the first layer down. About how much did we put down? Two feet. Two About feet. Two, we're building a pretty substantial pile. Mm -hmm. So, what are we going to do next? Then we, we put down nitrogen. nitrogen. And then what are we going to do next? Then we're going to put another layer of carbon. Uh, and then what are we going to do next? Put yeah, another gonna layer of uh, uh, nitrogen. Layer nitrogen. And then what are we going to do next? <laughs> 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 some more Carbon nitrogen layers, do we put water in there? Yes. Okay, nitrogen. we're not putting water in there today because we don't have yes. any water. Yes. What else gives moisture to that pile? It's happening right now, water. Okay, what, what else uh, gives uh, water to that pile? The, the nitrogen, the food product. The food waste has what? Moisture. 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 So that's going to bring moisture into the, into the pile. Okay, we're going to get back to that when we get more food waste and finish up. How big of a pile do you think it would take to get our temperatures up to 150, 160 degrees? Mm, four feet. foot five. Five, feet. Four. About, about five, ten. <laughs> so six feet, more or less, five, six. So we want that pile to be uh, uh, about twice that size. Okay. Uh, because the temperature, uh, we really need the temperatures in there to break down the pathogens and that sort of thing and to heat it up so it'll break down. So we won't uh, we cover it? We're not going to cover that. Not this one? No, we don't cover that. But uh, the one gonna, that you make in the uh, contain, container, yeah, like, you would yeah. cover it? Cause yeah. I was if you're going to do it in a community, the yeah, if you're going to do that uh, in the backyard or... Mm -hmm. Some other space you want to build that four by four configuration. It okay. takes about forty wheelbarrows of material to fill that up. Okay. Okay. Now, can everybody do this? Because we're not going to move forward if you can't do it. Yeah. 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 Can you do this? Yes. Yeah. 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 I know you're not convincing me. Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we can do it. Can you do it? Yes. 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 Can you do it? Yes. Right. Can, yes, you yes, yes. <laughs> yes. can you do it? Can you do it? A growing power. This is our compost. This took three months for us to turn this into uh, what it is today. Did you now, turn we that? We also sir? use this. We turn this. Mm -hmm. uh, we also use. Uh, we also use this uh, for feeding our worms. Because what happens in that pile is that uh, nitrogen soaks into the wood chip and the reason that we have a lot of wood chip is why? The aeration. The aeration. The aeration. The aeration, but there's another important Moisture. reason. Why do we have a lot of wood chip? Why do we want a lot of wood chip in our compost? It holds moisture. It breaks down. Nope. Any soil scientists here? Why do we want wood chip? What grows on wood chip? Fungus. Fungi. You want your soil to be very fungal rich because fungi delivers the nutrient to the root zone of the plants. You have to have a delivery system for the nutrients that are in this pile. A good indicator that this is really good compost is you have some worms in there already. There are some red worms in here. But this is uh, what you want to be able to... Uh, you can also see... Uh, we have put a lot of cardboard, and this is a piece of cardboard that didn't quite break down. We put the whole cardboard boxes in there, and that's about the remainder of uh, some of the cardboard that was in there, and that's okay. Uh, we use this to fill pots. Uh, if we would put this through a quarter inch, uh, let it dry out, put it through a quarter inch sifter, uh, that's not so good to fill up a pot. You really want to fill up your pots with all of this 
all of this uh, lumpy stuff like that because that holds your nutrient. It doesn't leach out of the pot. As you water those pots, you're going to leach out nutrient. This helps hold the nutrient. Now what we do is we fill up our pots, our 12 inch pots when we're going to grow stuff, and then we top it with worm castings. And then we seed and we cover uh, with worm castings because we produce about 100,000 pounds of worm castings every four months. How many inches of worm castings on the top? Uh, we generally put about uh, three quarters of an inch on top and then we seed them and then we cover our seed with worm castings. So it's a little overkill but we have a lot of worm castings. You don't necessarily have to put that much uh, but we do. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next actually. But this is the consistency and the finished product that you'll get. Uh, you'll get this in a static state or you'll get it if you turn it. You can speed up the process in about three months. We're, we're turning this stuff uh, in three months. With a front end loader, with yeah. a bucket. Yeah. We do 50 yard piles and then we turn them. We turn them approximately uh, five, five, about five times. In that 50 yards long, move them long, over? 50 yards pile. Like that oh, pile right yards, there will be a 50, 50 cubic yard, yards. 50 cubic yard pile. Just take the pile and move it over. Well, you, you, you know, it. it takes some time. Yeah. <laughs> take the top yeah. from the bottom <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> and then we just move it back and forth and then we put it in wind rows to, to store it and finish it off. Where? So, in wind rows? In a long wind row. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Allen, if I'm doing my own pile and turning it, it would be the same well, process. Well, so that's something you can do too. So now you have worms in your compost. And the worms will uh, provide even more fertility because they'll break this stuff down. No, this is fine. I just wanted to show them this. At what point do you introduce the worms, Mr. Allen? You can introduce them uh, before you build the beds or after you build the beds. In our compost, uh, most of the time in our site, We'll have worms because once the piles cool down, the worms come in. Once you inoculate the site with enough worms, you never have to worry about worms coming into your compost as it cools down. And then they're not going to come in when it's 150 degrees. So y'all want some more worms? That's what they say. Tell me all the different things I can use that product. Everything, bro. Well, what is everything? I want to know. You want to use it to grow? I'm a beginning farmer. I don't know anything. Flowers. Food, house plants. Okay. Can we build beds with that? Yeah, yes. absolutely. Yes. Can we put that inside pots? Pots. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Can we feed that to the worms? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Okay. What are the worms going to do with that? They're going to break, gonna it, break it down further. further. Yeah. And, and add their cats and eat through it. Okay. So that's what we're going to do next. What we're going to do next is uh, uh, go into that uh, uh, first greenhouse, the hoop greenhouse, and we're going to bring in enough material to fill up six uh, or five or whatever they bought worm bins. Okay. So we need... A